Hello, I'm Matt Wellemson with Newworks Media, here to take a look at the new stereo external speakers on the iPhone 7. It is September, which is Apple iPhone season, which is a good thing for many of us that look forward to the new devices every fall and for some the holiday season. So Apple introduced quite a few new features from the iPhone 7. The one that we're going to more closely to look at is the stereo audio output for speakers, which is new for this year. Uh, as you may already know, the internet is up in arms about the removal of the headphone jack, but it's something I can fully live without personally uh, due to my Bluetooth uses. Anyway, what we did for this test is use a app that is available in the App Store, uh, SPLNFF, I believe is the name of it, and it is uh, a dB meter. Not a professional dB meter, it's slightly calibratable and, and all of that, but I'm not going for scientific results, I'm just trying to show a specific difference in what this particular app can show on its meter for differences in audio pressure between the different phones. And then I'm also throwing in an iPad 9.7 to, iPad Pro 9.7, excuse me, to show a difference of the much larger field of audio in that stereo speaker. Some have made comparisons or wanted to hear the difference between the new iPhone that has stereo speakers with the iPad Pro line, and this is the best way I can do it as well. So we're going to do three different sets of tests. Uh, starting off first, we're going to take a look at a video, which is from Apple, of the new EarPods, and I'm going to start from the beginning for all three devices, and you can hear the differences in ambient, or see the differences on the meter with regards to ambient sound levels. This will be placed behind the uh, iPhones and iPad, uh, just to kind of give you a general room uh, audio level for the devices. We believe in a wireless future. A future where all of your devices intuitively connect. So as you can tell, there is a definite improvement on the iPhone 7 uh, as far as having stereo output as well as having higher sound volume. Neither of the phones really compare to the iPad Pro 9.7, but quite honestly can you expect that considering how much larger the sound chambers are on the iPads versus the iPhone. So the iPhone 7 is definitely an improvement over the iPhone 6S. Not much stereo separation in my personal use, but it's definitely there. And depending on how close you have the phone to your to your face or wherever you're working, you, you can definitely hear stereo. So it definitely is stereo and it's usable. So let's dive into a different situation and go to some music. Uh, this song was available on freemusicarchive.org and I'll put the uh, information on that in the lower third. Alright, to close out our testing, I'm going to do one more final test with a different song and the microphone at a different location. Since the other tests were more focusing on ambient noise, we're actually going to focus a little bit more on the output when you're at the front of the phone, where you'd normally be listening, obviously. So, start off with the iPhone 6S and 
directly switch to the iPhone 7. Both phones are going to be sitting stationary with the speakers aimed at each other with a reasonable gap between and the iPhone 5S in front doing the metering again. So hopefully this will give you a reasonable uh, representation of the audio output of these phones. So hopefully this video did something to clarify any questions that you may have on the iPhone 7's audio versus the iPhone 6s. A lot of you are going to take a look at them and listen to them in an Apple Store, which is a pretty loud environment and hard to do these type of tests yourself. Not that anyone really needs to take a dB meter out, but it may help justify for some or remove the idea of getting the iPhone 7 as an upgrade. If you have a 6s like I do, it's not a very huge upgrade. I'm one of those lemmings that gets a new phone every year, so you know, call, call me Apple apologist or zealot or whatever, but you know, I like the devices, I like supporting the company, and I like that the uh, competition uh, from Samsung and other Android services are really pushing uh, Apple to go further. Always been jealous of the LG phones and other phones that have had stereo sound. I can honestly say it is something I've looked forward to and really wanted in the iPhone. So for me, it was a big improvement as well as the camera and wider color gamut display uh, for me being a photographer and liking uh, really good quality images. It was a nice step. Let's hope that the iPhone 7, sorry, the iPhone 8 can bring us a little bit more color depth and a little bit bigger screen uh, on the small devices and hopefully the dual cameras. Personally, not a big fan of the plus size phones. In that regard, I just don't like having large uh, devices in my pocket. So, thanks for watching.